Now, unemployment in the UK has risen to its highest level for almost two years. Official figures show almost 700,000 people have come off payrolls since March, and economists expect more jobs to be lost as the government's furlough scheme is phased out by the end of October. Meanwhile, Chancellor Rishi Sunak said he wouldn't extend furlough, but would look at new ways to support jobs and employment, as our economics editor Faisal Islam explains. Unemployment is on its way back up, putting some pressure on the government to extend its support schemes. It's a bit scary when it's going to start. <laughs> After nine yeah. years' continuous work at a car factory, Orion was let go in the last few days, having returned from furlough. They reassured us that our jobs would be fine. Um, they put us on the furlough scheme. So we felt quite secure because we were still getting paid. Get it, get it, get it. When I lost my job, I came into work at six o'clock in the morning, sat down for a while, drank a cup of tea, ready to start my position, got called up to the office and let go. The Monday after his job was lost, he's on a free retraining scheme in Lemons and Spa to provide the skills in short supply for building the HS2 rail line. Today's numbers show the official unemployment rate up at 4.1% between May and July, still low by historic and international standards, but the individual monthly data show that there was a more significant rise to 4.4% in July, just as the wind-down of the government furlough scheme began. Employment remained at a record, but within that there was a record fall in the employment of 18 to 24-year-olds, down 146,000 on the previous quarter. I couldn't possibly afford it myself. Ben, a personal Thanks. trainer, yeah. says he too has to retrain in construction. I lost about 90% of my clients due to COVID, um, so it's been quite quiet recently. I had to give it up. And so that's it? So, you're gonna, so you've chosen to leave that behind and yeah. start afresh? Yeah, try something new. The pandemic isn't just a one-off economic shock. It's changing the structure of how the economy works, the jobs and skills required. And here, they're trying to help people with that transition. But as the government winds down its support for workers, there's going to be an inevitable, sharp, painful rise in joblessness. In Stoke, the Chancellor, on a visit to a pottery factory where furloughed workers have returned, says more than half of those furloughed returned to work by the middle of last month, which raises an obvious question. Is there not a case as your predecessor, Mr Brown, as your colleague, and Mr Stride says, to extend this scheme, at least in a targeted way? I don't think the right thing to do is to endlessly extend furlough. But protecting people's jobs, creating new jobs, remains top of my mind, and I'm always looking for interesting, creative, innovative and effective new ways to support jobs and employment. The opposition leader, Sakir Starmer, addressing a virtual trade union congress called for new forms of job support. Target those sectors most in need, for example, retail, hospitality, aviation, all those hit by local lockdowns, and provide certainty for workers and for businesses. The government is waiting to see if British workers can defy predictions of massive rises in joblessness by retraining for new jobs like here in construction. Some new help is being developed. It will be required as the jobless numbers officially turn up. Faisal Islam, BBC News.